When Catherine Folker was 18 years old, she knew she had a drinking problem. She checked herself in voluntarily to a rehab program, but then relapsed. I had said to her, at least you're not a heroin addict. And she just looked at me and that's when my world fell apart. Catherine's mom, Caroline Folker, tried to get help for her daughter. But in the treatment programs, she met recovering heroin addicts. Those friendships would prove fatal. And she was drunk at a party and she said, somebody said to her, um, hold still, and injected her into her hand. And that was the first time she ever had intravenous heroin. Twelve weeks later, Catherine died of a heroin overdose. I was terrified and she was terrified and she did want help and um, I, I always use the um, analogy, I was like a chicken with my head cut off because I was running everywhere trying to find um, answers. Caroline Folker and her husband moved from Great Britain to Fauquier County. The irony is that a lot of people move to rural areas thinking they'll be free from crime and hardcore drugs. And the reality is that heroin has a grip on this part of Virginia. Already this year, eight people have died from heroin overdoses in Fauquier County. Morris Sater's 31-year-old son Bobby died of a heroin overdose in Leesburg in 2015. He said that it invaded his dreams and um, so there's just a lack of control there where, when you're you can't even control your dreams and, and it comes and creeps in. So I know now that it was a, a daily struggle. Um, the only peace I get from that is knowing that he's not struggling anymore. But um, yeah, it makes me sad. It makes me very sad um, because I know he fought it very hard. Maura and Caroline each have started their own websites to help families struggling with addiction. The most common thing you hear is we don't know where to go to get help. They want to give others the information they wish they had years ago. Peggy Fox, WUSA 9. Well, it's worth it if you can help another family.